All right, so hello, welcome to a bit of level two organic chemistry. So just a really quick video to help you get familiar with identifying organic functional groups. So um, you will have seven different types in NCA level two, um, and we'll go through each of them just so you can refresh your memory. You'll get really good at identifying them. And as you know, with the functional groups, is that they can help kind of give the part of the name that comes at the end. So that's kind of the suffix of the name of a molecule. But we're not going to name anything. We're just going to look at the types of functional groups we see. So the first one we have here um, is this most simple. There are carbons, hydrogens, and nothing else. So some people call this a hydrocarbon, but specifically, everything here has got single bonds. So anytime you see really, really plain carbons and hydrogens, that's an alkane. And every time you're naming an alkane, it's always going to end in ane. Uh, if we compare it to something like this, this has also just got carbons and hydrogens in it, but you'll see here that they're not just got single bonds, that there is a double bond here between two carbons. So this is also a hydrocarbon, it's only made up of hydrogen and carbon atoms, but this is, with the double bond here, this is an alkene. And so the name of a molecule that has a double bond should have the suffix ene in it. Uh, and then there's another one that's very similar. This is again a hydrocarbon, but you'll see here we have got a triple bond. Uh, you don't see this very often, but they are in the standard, so you can be expected to come across them. Triple bonds represent alkynes, and so they will end with the suffix "-ine". Um, those are the pretty easy ones, and that, like I said, there's only seven. These are three of them. Um, we'll put those ones aside. And one of my favourites, actually no, we'll do this one first. This is very similar to an alkane, except here we've got this sneaky little bromine atom. Um, it could be a chloride or it could be an iodide. Um, that is anything, any atom that's a halogen. Halogen is any atom that's in group 17 on the periodic table. So this guy here is called, not just an alkane, but he's like a halogen version of an alkane. So he's a halo alkane. Those are named kind of like alkanes are, um, and we can treat that bromine group as like a separate branch. But we're not doing naming yet, so don't worry about that just, just now. My favourite one, <laughs> well, <laughs> just for many reasons, is something that looks like this. It has an OH. Now that hydrogen, I haven't drawn it, but there's actually a bond between that oxygen and that hydrogen, so that the oxygen has got two bonds, and each hydrogen atom has got one bond. So there is a sneaky little bond in there. I haven't written it, and it's quite often the case with chemists because we're really lazy. So this um, functional group here is what will determine if you have an alcohol. And they will end with their names, the suffix will be ol. You can get something else, some other functional group that has oxygens in it. So we'll leave this here just so we can compare. We've got a functional group like this, also has an OH group in it, but it's not an alcohol. Because you'll notice that just next door, on the same carbon, you've got this double bond to an oxygen here. This carbon hasn't got any hydrogens bonded to it. It already has four bonds. So you quite often will get this just happening on the end of a chain. So this could be any sort of length of carbons going down here. And just at the end, you're going to get the C double bond O, OH business. That is kind of like a cousin of the alcohol. Um, and this one's pretty special. This is a carboxylic acid. 
Um, quite often when we write that COOH, we will just write it like this. And it kind of implies that you know how they're bonded together. You've got a carbon with a double bond oxygen, and that same carbon also has an OH group attached to it. That's six types of functional groups. Um, the last one is pretty unique, so it's pretty easy to spot. And if you know how to spot the difference, you can be a great chemist. That's a nitrogen there. A nitrogen bonded to a carbon. As you'll see, nitrogen also has three bonds. So you have to make sure you know how to count as well. <laughs> Anything with a nitrogen in it for you guys at year 12 will be an amine. I say that because in year 13, you'll find a different functional group that also has a nitrogen in it. So that's something for you to look forward to. Yay, exciting. So we have seven types of functional group that we went through. Alcohols, halide alkanes, alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes are all kind of lumped together as well. Sorry for my autofocus if that's messing up the video. Now, let's test yourself, okay? So there are seven different types of functional groups here. I have drawn, look at me, oh my gosh, uh, something I prepared earlier. I made this up. Um, and this is probably going to look really scary, but this is what can happen. Molecules can have different functional groups all on the same thing. In NCA level 2, you're not going to really get that. You're going to get something that's pretty more straightforward. But what we can do with this is we can identify all the different um, functional groups that we see here. So something that sticks out to me straight away is this C double bond O and OH. This thing here is a carboxylic acid. Um, carbons with just single bonds between other carbons, that would be like an alkane functional group. Pretty basic, so some people may not even label it because it's just how carbons bond other carbons. But here we could say that we have a bit of an alkane business going on with single bonds. Here we have a nitrogen um, attached to a carbon. Anything that has a nitrogen in it for you guys will be an amine. I like it that it's got an N in the word amine. Moving across, a double bond represents... Double bond between carbons represents an alkene. Triple bonds are alkynes with a Y but they're not very common. We usually get alkenes. And here we've got, oh, what color have I used yet? I haven't used red, okay. My favorite ones, <laughs> for obvious reasons. No, I just, I just really like them. An OH group with nothing else really next to it is an alcohol. So I hope that helps you with just going through and identifying the seven different types of um, functional group that you can get in year 12 chemistry.